So in this tutorial, we are going to use this website, Edro Sheds, in order to download rivers and basins of any continent, for example, here Europe, and then import this data into ArcGIS and export, for example, the river network and basins of, for example, a single country. And we will also learn how to export a single basin with its river network, like for example, this one. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So go to your local browser and type HydroSheds or you can click on the link in the description below. Click on this first result. You will be redirected to this homepage of HydroSheds. So here you can read about this freely available data which are driven from SRTM, Digital Elevation Model. So go ahead and click on products. You will get this page. So here you have a plenty of data to choose from. So for our case, we are going to download the hydro rivers and the hydro basins. So we will go ahead and start with the rivers. Click on this button and you will get this page. Here you can read about how this data is processed. In order to download our rivers, you will find this data download. So we will go ahead and download this data as a shape file. So in my case, I will be downloading the river network of Europe. So I will go ahead to shape file and I will click on this download button. So you will get this zip file. Wait until the end of the download. After downloading the river network, we will go ahead and download hydro basins. So click on this button. You will get this page so here you can read about how they process the srtm data in order to get these basins so scroll down to find this data download so we will go ahead again and download the basins of europe so we will download the standard data and i will click again on download so uh, as you can see we got our data as a shape file so just wait until the end of the download. At the end of the download, you will get this two zip file. So right click on your first zip file and go and click on extract here in order to unzip it. So do the same thing for the second zip file right here. So as you can see, we got a bunch of files. We'll go ahead and open our GIS software. You can use ArcGIS or QGIS. For my case, I will use ArcGIS. So after Opening ArcGIS, I will go ahead and add my data. In order to do this, click on Add Data button. Navigate to where you saved your zip files. And as you can see, here are the zip files for basins. I will select all the zip files and I will click on Add. So here we go. As you can see, we downloaded the Edro basins for all Europe and Middle East. So we will go ahead and add also zip file of rivers. So we'll click on this folder and click on this shape file, click on add, and here we go. Here we got our rivers. I will change the color to blue. I will uncheck those rivers for instance. As you can see, each of these shape files corresponds to basins. You have the details from level 1 until level 12. So we'll uncheck all these levels and we will, for example, work with the level 9. So here we go, as you can see, we have the details of major rivers. I will check, for example, rivers. So here we go, as you can see, each of these basins corresponds to the watershed of a river. So those are not major rivers, they are just the small rivers. So let's imagine, for example, that I want to export only the water basins and rivers only for a certain country, for example, France. All I need to do is to add the boundary file of this country. If you want to know how to download a boundary of any country, you can watch my video on how to do that. So I will go ahead and add boundary, for example, France. So here we go. As you can see, I added the boundary of France. So now I will go ahead and export them. For example, the basins of level nine of France with the river network. So in order to clip only the data of France, I will go ahead and search for a clipping tool. So click on this search button and then type clip, click on enter. Results will use this clip analysis tool. 
click on it the input feature we will input the basins of level 9 for example and for the cliff feature we are going to use our boundary so here you can specify where you want to save your output final clipped shape file name it and then click on save and then click on ok after the end of the processing you will get your country with the basins now i will do the same operation for the river network you can get the clip tool also from geoprocessing click on clip for the input feature i'll put rivers for the clip feature i will put my boundary click on save and click on ok so here we go as you can see we got our rivers so let's imagine that for example we want to extract only this basin so we will go ahead and use the select tool so we'll select it like that and we will go ahead to our file layer right click on it go to data and then click on export data here specify where we want to save it name it and then click on save then click on ok so now xgis is asking me if i want to add this extracted layer i will click on yes so i will uncheck the uh, layer of brands and here we go as you can see we got our basin now we will go ahead and do the same operation for rivers in order to get only the rivers of this basin go ahead to processing click on clip and for the input feature we'll use the rivers and for the clip feature we use our basin that we have just extracted specify where we want to save it click on save and then click on ok so here we go at the end of this operation you will get the river network of your basin so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you got value from it if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials